Hey guys, it's me, Jamrat23, <laughs> and today I'm going to be showing you guys 40 at-home exercises that you can do. All you need, well, <laughs> for most of them, you just need an empty space on your floor and a bed or a surface kind of like a bed. So, let's get started. So, also, you might need a chin-up bar, but if you don't have a chin-up bar, then, um, some of these you can't do, but it's okay. Um, the first, let's see, what can you see? Okay. The first exercise is just a regular push-up. So there are two different types of push-ups. There's a lot of different types of push-ups, but just for the regular way that we're gonna be doing them, you can go elbows in, or you can do elbows out. And that is the first thing. The second thing is a squat jump. It's kind of exactly how it, seems, how it sounds. So you're gonna squat like this, down to 90, then jump. And then the next thing is an incline push-up. Push up. So for this one, you're going to need a surface like a bed. A bed would be really good. And you are going to um, go like this, like in a pike position, and then do push up. Like that. And then the next thing you're going to do is, or the next thing is a decline push up. So this one you might need a harder surface than a bed, and it might need to be a little bit higher. So I have this right here. So I'm gonna go like this. These are really easy, you can do them like anywhere. You can do them on like a coffee table too. And for these, um, they're kind of easy. Like they're easy to get a spot to do them and they're easier to do. So if you were to make a workout out of it, workout out of them, I would do more decline pushups than incline pushups because incline pushups are harder. Here, I'm gonna put you all like right here. So then <laughs> that's close up, but yeah, you get it. The next thing is a V-up, or V-ups. Oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna go on the ground. Next thing is V-up, like I said. <laughs> and for this one, you're going to go in a hollow position, and you just go like this. They don't have to be super fast or super slow, but yeah. And also, the, after the V-up, you can just come here, or you can just go to a hollow hold. Make sure that your arms are by your ears the whole time. And then the next one is a flutter, like flutters. So you're going to lay on your stomach. I always get confused with these. So I don't know if this is a flutter or a swimmer, but it's okay. <laughs> so you're gonna go like this with your arms out and then go like that with your feet. And then these, I'm pretty sure these are flutters and those were swim swimmers. You're gonna kind of do the same thing, but go like this on your back. And then the next thing is squat touches. So <laughs> you can call them whatever you, you can call these whatever you want. So you're gonna go. So this, um, you can either do them one, one, or you can do them one, two, just like that. And then the next thing is crunches. So, um, they're like this. It's kind of like a sit up, but you're gonna keep your arms by your ears and you're not gonna go all the way up. Just go until you feel your abs like flex until you actually like, um, just don't go up all the way. It's like one fourth of the way. And then diamond push ups for these. They're really hard, they're, they're like harder than the regular push-ups. So you're gonna put your hands like this, doesn't really matter, just your pinkies and your fingers touching, it can be any way. And then, I'm gonna do a push-up, and those are diamond push-ups. And then star touches <laughs> are these, you put your feet up in the air, and then, or you can just do them like this, those are toe touches. And then star touches like that. 
And then the next thing is lunges. So, you know, you can either go like this, or if you have a long space, you can just keep going down. And then when you need to go the other way, just turn around <laughs> and then go the other way. And then next we have arch ups. Put your arms out in front and just like that. And then the next thing is sit ups. So, Feet in front, arms up, and try not to lift your feet off the ground. And actually, I'm I mean, they'll go a little bit if you're not moving your arms at all. So this is me not moving my arms, kind of not moving my arms, and this is me uh, moving my arms. <laughs> I mean, they're basically the same, but one of them I move my feet a little bit more than the other, which is fine. And then we have lemon squeezers. So you go like this, hit my hold. hold. And then, just like this, and then bicycle crunches. These are harder to explain, but you're going to touch your right, so you're gonna have your hands like this, and you're gonna be in a hollow hold, and you're gonna touch your right arm, or opposite leg, opposite arm. Then you don't have to go all the way down, you can just go like this, or you can go like this. doesn't really matter neither of them are like wrong technically uh then we have cherry pickers just like this and then pike toe touches that's what i told you about before i don't know what that is <laughs> and then um the ones that are involving a pull-up bar i'll show you guys later and then Sliders are just, you go down and you slide your hands. You can go all the way back, but you don't have to. And then, I don't know what I wrote there. Um, I'm gonna think of something. You can do um, another squat or another like thing for your legs is you can do um, frog hops. Usually this is how you do a frog hop. You go pretty far. So you go like that. And then you can also do long jumps. You're just a long jump. And then uh, candlesticks are these. If you want to um, make it more interesting, then you can do candlestick rolls, and they're kind of like this. And that's one. And then there's also press handstands. You, it's kind of, if you're a gymnast, you can do these. So. like that or <laughs> I can't really do these but you can also do that and then go like that it's a little bit harder a lot harder but yeah and then backward lunges you can go like this lunge and then backward I don't know why I just went forward you shouldn't go forward but just keep going backward Um, oh yes, reverse sit-ups. So you're gonna lay on your back, go like this. Oh, that's probably what I was going to put before. I don't really know. Dips, you can do these. Oh, on your surface up here, on your bed or whatever sur surface you have. It has to be kind of low, but not too low. Oh, place your hands like this, and then just like that, and then next, a side plank. So there's two different types of side planks because you have to do it in two different sides. So this is one side and then the 
together. And then you can also do side hip touches. So you go like this. And then I don't know what to call these, but you go like this. And you can do this on either side. And then um, hip twists. Like this. So you're going to go like this. Then just your hips. You're going to move to this side and touch. But just touch it. And you don't have to go all the way down. But you just twist your hips. And then... And then this is what you do on the bars if you have a chin up bar or some type of bar that's high that you can't touch your feet to the ground so don't mind my messy closet um these are the next things that you can do with a pull-up bar or a chin up bar whatever you want to call it first <laughs> pull-ups obviously um yeah this came off that's why it's duct tape i don't even know if you can see that but whatever so obviously hang down Just like that and then you can also do i don't know which one is which i think this is a chin up and this is a pull up i messed that up sorry <laughs> and then it's the same thing but just put your hands a different way and then you can also do leg lifts which are like this they're kind of hard if your feet touch the ground my feet kind of touch the ground but just like that but this is a good exercise if your feet touch the ground then you can do top halves these are really these are much harder than leg lifts but just like that and then I would recommend going wherever your hands are so I have these little side things right here and my hands are back here so I'm gonna put my feet over over here like behind the bar and then go in front of it and then go back up behind it because it just gives you a better workout. And then you can also do bottom halves. Kind of self-explanatory. You just go like this. And then you can also just hold it here or hold it there. And then um, and then the opposite of a leg lift. So, you're gonna go like this. Oh, whoa, I cannot hold on that way. Forgot. And then you're gonna like arch your back just slightly like that, but you're not gonna go all the way up. Don't even try to go all the way up because it just, that's not good. <laughs> that's not what they're meant to do. You're not supposed to go all the way up. So, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed these at-home exercises, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing more uh, videos like this, and comment down below what kind of quarantine workouts you want to see, like leg workouts, ab workouts, and stuff like that, and make sure you guys follow my Instagram at underscore jimart23 underscore, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.